going on, YouTube? Your boy Sam from Team Zamrex1 here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with the top five Yu Gi Oh decks for the Pulse Master Rule Revision 2020. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. This weekend, we got the brand new news that changes Yu Gi Oh forever. The brand new Master Rule is going to be changing the way that we play, and it's also at the same time, he's going to be giving a huge boost to decks that's probably never seen the light of day before because with the brand new link mechanic it literally stopped a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh decks from being able to play in this metagame but with the brand new master rule a lot of decks are literally just going to be coming out of the dead before you get started this video if you guys want to help support the channel make sure you guys get the limited edition exclusive high peak christmas playmat today in the link in the description box below at tx1.com this playmat is only available till the 26th of december and it's super for this holiday season be sure to use the coupon code txx10 for 10 percent off your entire order all right guys let's get started with today's video all right guys as you guys can see right now for the number fifth deck i got you guys invoked i truly believe that invoked has huge potential when it comes to the 2020 format the reason why invoked is not that great right now is the fact that you're actually unable to abuse monster from the extra deck before the brand new master rule which is master rule 3.5 link summoning mechanic it literally stopped invoke from being able to spam monsters from the extra deck what made invokes really good is the fact that it's able to put up multiple negates and at the same time poke multiple fusion monsters on the field within one turn if you're actually able to put up multiple colors if you're actually able to put up McCollum, Purgatrio, and Invoked Ragin, and a bunch of fusion monsters from the extra deck, this deck becomes really, really strong. But with the Link monsters, you weren't able to do that anymore. But with the brand new Master Rule into effect, you do not need to rely on using Link monsters to open up your main monster zone whatsoever. So Invoked definitely got a huge boost. And Magna Invoked is still gonna be a very great deck in the 2020 format. It's a deck that you're able to play multiple hand traps at the same time, spam multiple fusion monsters on the field with absolute ease without having any restriction to use monsters from the extra deck. So imagine putting up multiple cobbles on the field alongside Perker Trio, uh, you know, using Invocation multiple times in one turn so without that restriction anymore invoked has huge potential for the 2020 format six samurais is a very powerful deck it's a deck that's able to spam multiple monsters on the board and with the addition of that of shogun of the six samurais you're actually able to search gateway directly from your deck to hand with ease and now without having the restriction to use link monsters and with six samurai shin back at three if you want to spam multiple shins on the exact same turn you can go ahead and do so if you want to summon multiple nature beasts multiple nature barkeons and basically make your unbreakable board without having to utilize link monsters you can go ahead and do that with absolute ease with the release of battle shogun i believe that it makes six samurais so much of an easier deck to actually play in the 2020 format i truly believe that six samurais has huge potential it's able to abuse the fusion mechanic synchro mechanic the xc's mechanic fairly easily and on top of that it's also able to abuse the link mechanic as well it's a very combo centric deck where you're actually able to put multiple in the gates and also at the same time play around the biru as well which is actually pretty cool so gateway of the six is definitely one of the really strong Strong cards that actually helps boost six samurais for the 2020 format and also with the release of battle shogun and six samurais makes this deck so much easier to actually search your combo piece directly from your extra hand which is gateway of the six so you guys definitely got to watch out for six samurais 100 this deck just got a huge boost and that's pretty much it for the number four spot we got six samurais off to number three spot we got synchros synchros oh my goodness i truly believe that this deck got the Biggest boost, one of the biggest boosts. Ultimaya Zazokin, if you guys don't know what this card does, card is absolutely broken. One of the things that stops Synchros is the fact that you need to make Link Monsters before Synchro Summoning. And with cards like Junk Speeder right here, Junk Speeder right here has the restriction where when you summon this card, you basically cannot special on the monsters from the extra deck except for Synchro Monsters. So that kind of conflict 100% with the Link Summoning mechanic because to be able to spam Synchro Monsters from the extra deck, you need to open up your main monster zone with Link Monsters. But now, since that restriction is no longer required, you're actually able to special summon as many Synchro Monsters from your extra deck without having to use Link Arrows. Or Whatsoever. So Synchros really got a huge buff, especially with Ultimate Dazokin as well. Since before with Link Summoning, you can only special summon one extra deck monster to the extra monster zone. You can easily special summon Ultimaya now on the field, set a card, and then special summon a dragon monster from the extra deck. Uh, a single dragon monster like Crystal Wing from the extra deck without having to worry about opening up your Link Zones, right? So Ultimaya Dazokin can definitely take advantage of this. You also got TG Hyper Librarian, a card that you're actually able to spam multiple copies of in today's metagame 
draw multiple cards you were actually able to just keep synchro summoning which is actually really really cool and there's a two card combo with junk synchron and uh, doppel warrior we're actually able to draw like 30 cards to teach you hyper librarian do a trishula loop like there are so many crazy combos quasar obviously falls under the synchro mechanic deck and you're actually able to abuse quasar now fairly easily which is really cool so synchro base deck just got an overall huge boost but i truly believe that junk speeder is just the biggest buff that synchros has ever gotten when it comes to this brand new master rule junk speeder is definitely a card that you guys definitely got to watch out for and there's going to be a huge buyout uh, on this card when it comes to the brand new master rule if you guys don't know what this card does is that if this card is synchro summoned you can special as many synchron tuner monsters as possible at different levels from your deck in defense position and the fact that you're able to do that and synchro climb and spam multiple synchro monsters on the exact same turn it's just absolutely ridiculous. This card is going to be ridiculous. And don't forget, Trishula Dragon Dice Bearer is at three. So you're actually able to spam three Trish in one turn now, alongside with Jump Speeder. Like Jump Speeder, it's just literally facilitates really the generate combos for Synchros. I cannot wait to see this deck in action for the 2020 format. So I truly believe that Synchros has an overall Game mechanic got one of the biggest boosts when it comes to the master rule. So I cannot wait to see this deck in action. You guys definitely gotta watch out for this deck. We got DDDs. Oh my goodness. You're actually able to combo fairly easily with the deck, especially with the release of DDD Flame King High Genghis. Oh my goodness. G Genghis alone. You're actually able to put up a board with Titanic Galaxy, with Siegfried, with cards like um also crystal wing synchro dragon and this was all before link summoning by the way guys you can you're able to do all that before link summoning but with the restriction of link monsters requirement to open up your monster zone to summon monsters on the field was a huge problem for ddds but since that is no longer in the picture you're actually able to spam multiple ddd monsters on the field and especially from your extra deck as well the deck can do a lot of things it can spam monsters from the extra deck hexes monsters synchro monsters fusion monsters and now with the brand new link monsters being released really really soon you also get to abuse the link mechanic as well but overall i cannot wait to see this deck shine in the 2020 format it's going to be very very awesome to see ddd rise to the top 100 percent and i cannot wait for all the dd players out there to actually cook up something spicy when it comes to actually abusing the entire master rule mechanic the deck did not get touched whatsoever guys remember that but now the deck just got a huge buff when it comes to the brand new master rule under dragons is going to a hundred thousand percent get destroyed on the next upcoming balance 100 percent july 2020 balance is probably going to be the biggest ban list you guys will ever see in your entire life but it's going to be literally a noah's arc for the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And Thunder Dragon is going to be one of the decks that gets hits 100 percent if konami does not hit Thunder Dragon post the new master rule it's going to be a huge problem this is going to be a very huge problem thunder dragon is gonna be a, the biggest deck solar hawk is just three thunder dragon colossus without having to link summon whatsoever that's actually very very scary it's a deck that you guys gotta watch out for 100 percent but as of now if the deck does not get touched which is very unlikely thunder dragons will become the best deck post new master Rule. the best and most consistent deck of all time if konami chooses not to hit this deck on the ban list. Konami's smart. They're obviously not gonna release a new Master Rule without hitting Thunder Dragons 100,000%. Solar and Hawk is just gonna be game if this deck doesn't get touched. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thunder Dragons, without a doubt, is gonna become the best deck if this deck does not get touched on the ban list post Master Rule. Uh, 2020. For the honorable mentions, let's let's do it. These decks also have huge potential, but I truly believe that the top five decks just outshines these decks in my personal opinion. So, Basket or Dark Law, aka Heroes, has huge potential for the 2020 format. No more extra deck requirement, uh, no more link arrows requirement to the special and multiple monsters from the extra deck. So, Fluffles as well has huge potential in the format as well. It's an OTK based deck. It's a very scary deck that's able to spam multiple fusion monsters from the extra deck that you guys definitely got to watch out for. Fluffles is uh, also a huge honorable mention. ABC Dragon Buster. This card now you can spam multiple ABC Dragon Buster without having to worry about using the extra deck. Uh, link arrow pointing zones or whatever. But the problem about ABCs is that you only have one terraforming. So. Uni Hanger is the most important card in the deck. So four Uni Hanger compared to six, I don't think it's that great. Dante Traveler with Burning Abyss. I don't think a Burning Abyss is gonna be that great, even with the new Master Rule. Now you can spam two Dantes instead of one. 
I don't know about that. It's still pretty cool. The Burning Abyss Turbo deck that'll put, you know, Block Dragon and Fossil Nana, true, I truly believe has more potential than regular BAs. But the deck did get buffed prior to the new Master Rule, which is pretty cool. Last but not least, a huge buff. His decks that can huge, uh, decks that can abuse Bahama Shark. So Mermaid Olympians can definitely take advantage of this. Heroes can also take advantage of this. Hey, we're playing Bubble Man and also uh, Tin Tin Goldfish, which is actually uh, pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for all the honorable mentions that I have in today's video. If I am missing some decks, please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, Pilly Zolks can also be a huge deck as well. You can just easily spam multiple totally awesome without having to use the extra monster zone anymore. So let me know what your thoughts are about these honorable mentions in the comment section below. If I am missing some decks, please leave it in the comment section below as well. And that's pretty much it for the top five decks post new Master Rule 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching. And it's your boy Sam from TV's Ryan Sam signing out. Get your play mats today in the link in the description box below. All right, guys. Peace. Let's go. Run it up. Yeah, run up the score. Run it up.